So we're going to do a, a fall themed project. It's beginning to feel like fall. So we're going to celebrate some of the beauty of nature by uh, doing a watercolor and Sharpie uh, picture of Indian corn. Now we often think of Indian corn as uh, being just used for decorative uh, purposes, but Native Americans uh, would grind it up and use it um, as a, as a cornmeal. It was not sweet like the kind of corn that we're uh, used to today, uh, but it was um, a very important part of their diet. So you have your pre-drawn picture, and you need a fine sharpie. Uh, we are going to watercolor this, so as always, you can either use your tube watercolors or your cake watercolors. And uh, if you use the tube, you need to have a, a paper plate. Either way, you need to have a bowl of water, a couple of different size uh, brushes, and a piece of paper toweling. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do, now you can do this with pencil if you want to, or you can just uh, work on it uh, directly with your uh, ultra-fine uh, Sharpie. And we're just going to make the different kernels of corn. And we're going to give them different sizes. They're going to be close together. And so we're going to work, as you know, corn comes in rows. So we're going to go down the rows and then go back up to the top and do another one. And they don't need to be the same size, right? There can be some variation. And they kind of follow the contours of the drawing. And then as it gets down to the bottom, they tend to get smaller. Okay. And then we're going to go up here and we're going to start again with another row. And these can be a little bit smaller than our first row. This will help make it look like it's a rounded corn and they should be touching or almost touching Again, they start getting smaller and smaller down here at the bottom. You can go over the lines that I drew because I did those in pencil. This is going to take a little while to do all of the kernels. There's some partial ones there. Thank you. 
those little ones because they're going to disappear behind. I'll just put some little ones there. There we go. Okay, so now that you know how to do the kernels of corn, I'm going to let you go ahead and finish uh, yours up, and then I will rejoin you. All right, so that took a while, but it was also sort of um, soothing. Felt started feeling very tired when I was making all of these little, little ovals. But um, okay, so now is the time that we're going to start painting and as you recall Indian corn is uh, quite uh, colorful and varied uh, so I'm going to put out some green and blues there we go and some golds orange just put out several different colors if you're using your watercolor set your cake set you can just start kind of looking over what you might want to use Sienna, that would be nice. If I can get it out. Looks like it's dried a little bit. There we go. I might want to bring over my other watercolor set just to get some different colors of blues and grays and that kind of thing. All right. Now, you can if you want to. You can do each individual one, but what I would suggest that you do is do kind of a strip of one color and then go back and do some variations on it. So for example, if I want to do this blue, I can do that for a little while. And then I could go back and maybe have one that's darker. Or 
I could mix it with a little bit of green. Okay, so you can just decide how you want that to, and then you can do a stripe with green. Look at how it's blending together and making some cool, cool things. Blend them together. And you can kind of just work out your own technique of what. works for you. A little dark gray. you can just go wild.
Okay, so I'm going to continue painting. You've got the technique down now, so I'm going to give this a pause and finish the rest. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to do the background. The, the leaves, just remember, they're, they're basically brown. You can put a little more detail into them if you want by adding some, some darker lines. And then the background, we want to be pretty neutral. So I'm going to use the gray. Make sure it has an, enough water in it so that it doesn't come out too black. You can choose another color if you want.
Okay. So you've got the basic techniques on all of this. And so you can go ahead and finish the rest of it. I'm going to put some more gray down here. Again, it can be kind of haphazard. too dark so what you can do is then get some of it off with your paper toweling. And there you go. So I hope you enjoyed this project. I sure did. It was exactly what I needed after a long day of work. So take care.